So the Phantom vs Vandal debate has been going on since Valorant came out in beta, but people don't know exactly what gun might fit them or what gun is actually better. Now of course on paper the Phantom is way better, there's, there's no arguing that. But you have to think about the type of player that you are and the type of way that you play. Because obviously while the Phantom is better damage wise and rate of fire wise, the way that you play is going to fully determine which gun brings out the best type of player that you are. Now let's take CSGO for example. I prefer the AK. Now the AK is one of those weapons where you have to hit a one shot headshot to win because if not the recoil kind of goes crazy and it's kind of hard to control. Now I noticed that whenever I played CSGO my first shot accuracy was usually very very accurate. So I usually hit the first shot and if I missed the first shot I mostly ended up dying. Now the same can be said for the rifles in Valorant. If you take the Phantom for example the first shot accuracy is actually a little bit better than the Vandal but you cannot headshot from certain distances. But apparently the recoil is somewhat better on the Phantom even though I don't agree with that. But that might be easier for new players to pick up. The Vandal on the other hand has a more spread out recoil which might be harder to control for those of you who are new but you do get that one shot headshot kill from any distance. Now what that means is that if you think you have really good accuracy at least for the first shot the Vandal might be the thing you want to go for. But just know that a Phantom might be better at taking on multiple enemies at once compared to the Vandal. If you're holding the Vandal and you want to take out 3 to 4 enemies, you're going to have to one tap and be extremely precise with the shots you take. While with a Phantom, you could spray and get away with getting 2 or 3 of those kills, and maybe 4 if you are lucky. Now I have been a Vandal person since beta, and there are a few reasons for this. One, I cannot stand getting a dink with the Phantom. So a dink means when you headshot someone from far away, and you hear the little can sound, the bing, and they kind of run away and you they live and you don't kill them, right? So that seems to me... Well, that is to me the most frustrating thing that can happen in this game because a lot of the times you want that engagement but the gun you had was just not suitable for that range and maybe it's your fault for being positioned that far but sometimes you can't help taking these gun battles and the gun will just body you pretty much and having a vandal at that moment is better and for me that is the main reason why i choose the vandal the second reason why I prefer the Vandal is due to the fact that even though people say the Phantom recoil is better, I do not agree with that whatsoever. I feel like the Phantom shoots a little bit too fast and it moves down a little bit too fast and you have to kind of readjust for it faster than the Vandal. And I feel like the Vandal before its patch, before its buff, was actually really good despite it having a, a slower rate of fire than the Phantom by a good amount actually. But after the buff it feels pretty clean and pretty easy to control. Despite the recoil pattern being a lot more spread out than the Phantom, the Vandal feels good. It feels clean, it feels like you can get killed, and it feels like you can finally compete with Phantom players. Now I've heard a few people share this idea with me that they don't like the Phantom recoil and for some reason it's just a few of us that don't like it. Uh, it might be because it's too fast, I don't know, but something about it doesn't sit right with me. But if you're caught in between the Phantom and the Vandal, uh, I suggest that you give the Vandal a try if you haven't already. Ever since the last buff I got, it can actually compete with the Phantom and I don't feel like I'm throwing uh, whenever it comes to which gun I use because obviously picking the Phantom before its buff was kind of throwing, not really, you know, it depends if you were on your aim or not. A lot of the times when I had a really good aiming day and I chose the Vandal, the Vandal was pretty much carrying me through my games and it allowed me to get headshots and body people from far distances where if they had a Phantom they couldn't really do much to retaliate. On days where I was playing really bad however I was missing my headshots and the Vandal would pretty much cause my death almost every time because I wasn't hitting the headshots that I needed to hit. With this buff however you have a lot more bullets going down range whenever you get into gunfights so if you do miss the head a lot of the times you can actually make up for it with the rest of the bullets you know since the gun shoots a lot faster. So make sure that you experiment, also make sure what angles you're taking, if you're defending for example and you're going to hold a close line of sight then maybe the Phantom is the better gun to take. But if you're going to be attacking and you're going to be attacking a sight from a far distance and taking long gun fights then maybe you should think about taking the Vandal. Either way it's better to learn the recoil pattern of both and try to master both because you never know when you might not get a chance to buy a gun and you're just going to pick one up off the ground. And if you only learn the Vandal for example and you pick up a Phantom then you might fuck yourself over. Anyways guys, let me know what you guys think of this topic. It's been a huge topic ever since Valorant came out and I am very excited to see what you guys think of it. Uh, which gun do you prefer? Why do you prefer it? And did you switch at all during the time of playing Valorant or were you always stuck to that gun ever since beta? Let me know in the comments down below guys. 
this has been the cure let me know what you guys think of this new type of content i really enjoy making commentary channels uh commentary videos i mean and uh, i want to do more stuff that's more edited rather than the stuff i do normally uh i might still be uploading highlights here and there but i might comment over it maybe uh, make a kind of a tutorial video of me saying tips and tricks as i watch or as i watch my own highlights uh so let me know what you guys think of that anyways guys i will see you all in the next one this has been the cure take it easy and make sure that you wash your hands